Hello everyone and welcome to the Real Word Podcast, a place where real thoughts, real ideas, and real words come to life. I'm your host Drew, coming from San Diego, California. This is episode number 17. Thank you for stopping by, tuning in, checking out the channel. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit up the links in the description below. Alright, and now let's get into the episode. It's been a few days. Um, it's about 5.45 in the morning. Woke up about right around 5. And uh, Well, actually, I woke up a little earlier than that. But then uh, I think I dozed off for a little bit and then got up a little bit after 5. And uh, got my coffee going. And uh, now here we are. Here we are. And we're going to start the morning out with this nice dab. It's this Ghost OG Live Butter, from what they say. It's definitely more of a crumble, though. So it's cool. It's good. I enjoy it. So we're going to start the morning out with that. And then we'll get into everything else that's been going on over the last few days or so. And, uh, yeah, we'll get into it. But for now, I'm going to heat this nail up and uh, take a dab. So, a lot has been going on still. Um, it seems like it's been uh, mellowing out a little bit, but I never really know because I just always keep in my bubble anyways. I mean, I've been watching more news lately than I have in a really long time, but it's still been a, now about a day and a half to two days since I've actually watched any really news on anything I just I do try and stay away from it and what I do here I hear from like other podcasts or like Twitter or something like that you know but I try not to pay attention to the mainstream mainstream too much because uh, they've always been super untrustworthy and why are we gonna trust them now with uh, all of this going on so it's, uh, yeah, so I don't really know too much about what's been happening the last couple days, but I can just focus on myself and my life and what I have going on. So, got this dab going, and we'll get it going. If you're smoking along, cheers, everybody. a nice one ah, so what do I have going on today today I think my brother's gonna come by I think we're gonna try and uh, record a little something he had this idea of reviewing some music we're gonna go by a year he's gonna choose an album I'm gonna choose an album from that year and we're gonna kind of uh, compare and contrast just kind of go over what was going on, see if there's any similarities between the two. And these are two totally different albums, but um, it should be fun. I've uh, wanted to do something with my brother, like a podcast or something for quite a while now, but we just haven't really been able to figure it out. So might as well, since we're kind of on this lockdown, um, try and do something and be creative and, uh, you know, just make something of it and have fun and he's exposing me to music I've never heard before which is a good thing and then uh, <coughs> for me we were touching on a classic album that I am all too familiar with so be on the lookout for that I'm not sure I'm sure I'll release it or something I'm not sure if he wants it released or whatever but that's what I'm that's what I have planned for today I mean after this I gotta go upload this and then uh, listen to the album that he uh, mentioned and suggested again I did listen to it yesterday but 
I'm going to listen to it again this morning, maybe write a couple notes, listen to the album I wanted and suggested again, and uh, maybe take a few notes. But I'm all too familiar with that album, so it's like I could just see the track list and just go based off of that. So um, it should be fun. I I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, what else? Uh, first thing I saw this morning, I opened Twitter and uh, saw that Roman Reigns is pulling out of uh, WrestleMania. Which I guess makes sense because he's had his health issues in the past and all of that. And uh, he doesn't want to take any any chances with what's going on. So I, I get it. I understand it's a little surprising that it took this long for that announcement to be made or for him to make that decision but you know it uh we'll see what they do with that spot now um you know Goldberg has definitely had a few a few storylines that could be played out but we'll see what WWE decides to do and what angle they decide to go with now it just makes the whole Goldberg winning against Bray thing just looked like a terrible, <laughs> terrible idea, in my opinion. Especially with everything that's gone on now. It uh, makes it a little difficult, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, So UFC, they're still uh, planning their 249, I believe that's the event, with... Uh, Tony and Khabib, um, they're still planning as as if that fight is still going to go. I mean, I don't know if they're going to do a few fights on the card, um, the whole card, or just that main event, or maybe the co-main and the main, and just keep it really, really tight of a circle of people who are at whatever arena or... Whatever venue they are at, just keep it really small. Keep a limited amount of people there and maybe have to rotate them out in between fights so not too many people are around. Everybody would have to be tested. and But they're still acting like it's going to go down. I don't know where. Um, I heard it from Joe Rogan's podcast, and I had thought about this even prior to hearing that. It's like I wonder if they could get like a – battleship or something like that and go out into the ocean and uh do it in the middle of the ocean but i don't know i don't know what um restrictions are being done on uh you know ships and things like that and it seems like if you need to certain flights are still available and i don't see i don't know what's going on with all this it seems a little crazy man like it just seems uh, like, I don't know. I don't know. There, If you have the means, you are able to travel. You're able to get these tests. And, you know, it's just uh, all these celebrities are not even showing symptoms, and yet they're getting tested. And it's that's a red flag to me because... Uh, why are you getting tested if you don't even have symptoms? And I thought you weren't even able to get tested if you didn't have symptoms. So, like I said, I, I see a little bit of a red flag with all these celebrities and all that coming out and saying that they have it, but being very non-symptomatic of the virus. And, uh, yeah, it just uh, it, it throws me off. Um <laughs> But anyway, let's get back to the sports topic. Um, the Olympics decided to uh, postpone their event. And um, that's a first time in history, I believe. Uh, they've canceled the Olympics, I believe, twice during the World Wars. But uh, other than that, the Olympics have kind of remained constant. And uh, not too many changes have happened. You know, besides taking sports away, adding sports, whatever. But it's pretty much remained the same format. And uh, 
Well, I think they did split up the summer and winter at some point. I don't know when they did that, but I believe that happened as well. Um, but yeah, this is the first time where they're going to postpone it, and uh, that should be interesting. I wonder what that does to the athletes, because I mean, I'm sure they were geared up getting ready and now it's kind of on hold and unsure and all of that so it's interesting it i wonder what that'll do to the you know to the psyche and to the to the mental part of uh some of these athletes i mean they they are olympians and they're there for a reason so they should be able to handle kind of whatever comes but you know it uh <clears throat> It's uh it would throw it would it throws a wrench in it, that's for sure. That's that's kind of all I'm saying. Um so now I guess uh we could get into kind of my thoughts and kind of what I've been seeing going on with all of this uh lockdown and virus situation and all of that going on. Um it doesn't look good when you see the bigger picture of kind of what's going on. I mean, in Cincinnati, I believe it is, they said that the police aren't even going to go or respond if it's not, like, really, really urgent. Like, they said they're no longer going to respond to uh, breaking and entering, um, assault if nobody's uh, hurt, um... And what else? There was there was like five or six things that it's like, wow, you can really like do some things. It's almost like the purge or something like no murder or anything like that. But it's like you can break into someone's house, tie them up, leave with their stuff and like nobody's going to be called because it doesn't fit the criteria of why they would be sent out. So that's a little scary. <clears throat> it seems like uh, more and more military has been getting involved from what I've been seeing online. I mean, take that with a grain of salt. It's online. So it's hard to really take things into context. But I've been seeing some military stuff happening. Um... And then what else? I mean, it seems like a few restaurants already I've seen and I've noticed they're trying to go to uh, cashless. And what was the thing that, you know, these conspiracy theorists always talked about? They always talked about, like, getting rid of money and kind of having one currency. And what a way to do that is to start saying create this virus and uh now the way it spreads is through cash and we so we can't have that and if you try and use it it'll be deemed useless and you'll kind of be looked at as like an outsider or an outcast because you still have this cash and it's like you're you're on the old system and you're still you're dirty because you you could be spreading the virus and things like that and um you know, it's a that's a little concerning um, to get everybody kind of on a new system. That seems like a perfect, perfect way. Um, another thing is, it seems like they're going to be trying to do some some sort of uh, mandatory vaccination where it's not going to be mandatory, but. So a vaccination plus a microchip, that's what it kind of seems like because you would need the vaccine and then you would need the chip to show that you had the vaccine. Like they could just run it, scan it and all of that. And, um, you know, that's where it seems like we could be headed. And that just reminds me so much of like Black Mirror, like maybe a couple different episodes combined or whatever. But, um... Yeah, it just seems like you would have... This is what I think could happen. Um, so they 
it gets bad, whatever they, the fear is bad. And then they start to implement these mandatory vaccinations where, like I said, it wouldn't necessarily be mandatory, but everybody, all stores would use it and get it. And uh, to enter the store, you would have to scan your chip, make sure you're, you're vaccinated. And if you don't have the chip, you're not allowed in. You're basically blocked from society. So that's kind of the situation <clears throat> that I could see potentially happening, which is a little scary. Um, another thing, it seems like after this, they're going to start to implement more AI technology in these jobs. So again, it seemed like a perfect way for all of this breakdown to happen. It's a uh, create this virus, create this chaos, create this fear. And then uh, the economy crashes, <clears throat> implement AI, cops aren't doing their job. It's it's might get a little crazy out there um, and then start implementing more martial law and these vaccinations and microchips. I mean, that's I don't want to be fear mongering or like anything like that. But <clears throat> when you just notice some of these news stories and things like that, you just kind of connect the dots and kind of see the bigger picture of what's going on. So. That's uh, that's what I'm seeing, and that's where I'm at. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep it there. Um, thank you for still listening, tuning in, checking out the channel. Again, make sure to like, share, subscribe. Hit up the links in the description below. Stay healthy. And uh, until next time, everybody, peace.